What you doing, Spackles? How's it going, buddy? Please consider coming aboard the Wooden Boat Experience on Patreon. My earliest memory is riding in my grandfather's boat, arm over the side, hand in the spray. I've spent much of the rest of my life chasing this feeling. All of that has led to this. The Wooden Boat Experience. Andy? Yeah, hey Scott. Hey, how's it going? All right, all right. How you doing? Good. Now, if you don't have a boating mentor, I recommend finding one. One of the best parts of 2020 for me was hooking back up with Andy Derby and getting his help. So my question is, looking at these drawings and really looking them over, I understand a lot of it. I don't quite understand yet what the offset numbers mean. Now, I won't bore you with the rest of the 20 minutes of this conversation but I can tell you at the end. I knew what offsets meant. When I needed a back issue of Wooden Boat, I just went to woodenboat.com this week and got a digital back issue of issue number 20. Really cheap and it was very helpful. They sent me a PDF and I simply printed out only the pages I needed. Now let's check out and see what happened the rest of this week. Here's what the edition looked like Sunday. And now here it is on Christmas day. Hey, don't laugh. It took a lot of work to make it look like this much of a disaster and still be better. It's all insulated in here, not totally sided, but big difference. And the wall is gone. And there's the stove. And I've changed my mind on the stove. It's actually just going to get turned 180 degrees so the opening is right here. And that way we don't waste all the space over on this wall. And the cleanup of the Christmas disaster and this whole mess begins next week. And now, finally, priming the Chris Craft. I have been filming working on the Chris Craft and trying to get the primer on it for literally weeks. This film is from November 16th. And finally, around Christmas, I got the time and the weather. Let's look at how it happened. The last month has basically been a, a shampoo bottle instruction litany of fairing, sanding, vacuuming, and do it again, and again, and again. Let me get you guys out of here. Show you what I'm actually doing. So if you look at this, you can see that generally this looks pretty good. But what I'm doing because the back is pretty much done. But as you look at this side and up towards the bow, you see spots like this, where when I sanded it with a flat sander, it's not touching that spot. Now, if I kept going, when I start to see that copper head of that clench nail, I don't want to sand down to there, which means I've got to raise this up a little bit. So I'm looking for spots like that. This one here. Right here, you can see that whole area and there is low. This is low, this is low, this is low, this is low. And if I do all these spots here properly right now, like I did up here, one more sanding and I will be able to put some primer on here. Now, will it be perfect? No, but once you get the sand, or I'm sorry, once you get the primer on there, like over here, you really start to see what needs to happen. Now this hasn't been sanded yet. When I sand this, I'll realize, oh, there might be a little spot right here, or that spot's low right there. You can see the water line right here. Good thing I gouged that in a little bit better. So a sand of this, and I'll be able to put one little final coat of fairing, but it won't need very much. But as we know, we wanna get this primed and flipped over and start working on the inside as well because the paint will be better done in the spring. So that's what I'm doing right now. I've got to do this whole area right here. Then it's gonna to sit tomorrow, I sand, and then hopefully on Wednesday, 
If I can get the temperature up enough in here, we'll throw the coat of primer on here, which will be exciting for me anyway. We'll let this cure until tomorrow. It's Monday. It was warm out here earlier when the sun was shining. Not so much now. One more sand, which shouldn't take too long. Let me get the right angle here. And priming, hopefully, if it's warm enough on Wednesday or Thursday. Well, Whew. hard to believe that you can sweat when it's this cold in here. But I'm now going to vacuum this off, and I've got a couple of spots, maybe five or six spots, I'm going to put some filler on, let that sit till tomorrow. I've got a bunch of stuff to do today. I just wanted to show you guys one thing. Uh, this is um, 80 grit I'm using here. Um, we started out with 36 to get the crap off. Most of the time I sanded with 50, and now we get towards the end, I use 80. After I do the primer, then I'll, I'll go even farther down. But sometimes when you're using this total fare, especially if you're kind of rushing things along, you get these little things that get on the paper here, and uh, they kind of mess up the sanding ability. But if you take a little wire brush and carefully, I'm not pushing too hard, you can get most of those things off of there, and you can get a little bit more life out of the sandpaper. I mean, sandpaper's not that expensive, but you and I both know that you can make a pile of used sandpaper pretty quick if you're not careful. So that does help. I get like two or three times out of it if I do this rather than just one long one, especially when it's like this. Hey, the sun's coming out. So I'm going to vacuum this off, add just a little bit of filler in those couple of spots that I missed yesterday, and they're just little spots i probably could wait until after the primer but i just want to get it done there's enough sun here it'll warm up enough to uh, cure this filler but it's looking pretty good and it, i'm hoping either today's tuesday either wednesday or thursday i'm putting the primer on it's more depending on the weather now I just remembered what the other thing was that I had to do before priming. Score this water line on this port side. So I'm gonna to get to that now. Shouldn't take long. Okay. That's step one. It's sanded with this down to 120, both sides. This side is getting another coat of primer. The other side is getting its first coat of primer. And if possible, we're gonna put the second coat on as well because the next thing to do after the primer cures for a few days is to flip this boat back over and work on the inside for the rest of the winter. It's about 46 degrees outside it's raining we don't have any sun but um i've got one heater going underneath the boat an electric heater it's pretty comfortable in here and i think everything's going to work all right that's that I'm hoping this will be smooth sailing, as they say, priming this hull this time. Remember last time when I did this side, I didn't have some of the, I didn't have the right rollers. There was a lot of things that went wrong, but thanks to Total Boat, now I've got the proper rollers, the right nap, and these are made to be used with epoxy. Um, got the two-part epoxy primer, got the mixing cups, stir sticks, even got a new respirator, so I'm gonna do this side first get the first coat on here then i'm going to go over and put the second coat on this side and then hopefully in a couple hours if it cures enough i can put the second coat on this side that's the plan it is thursday normally the day i'm editing but uh tomorrow's christmas but it can't go anywhere so i think we'll i'll be editing tomorrow and we'll get the video out on saturday and it's probably the day you're watching this 
So wish me luck. Well, I am out of time today. It's starting, it's, it's a little after three. Let me switch you guys over and show you what I've been doing. It's a little after three o'clock. It's raining. It's getting kind of dark. It doesn't really show on the camera. On the camera, it doesn't seem like it's dark. Let's see if I can flip you guys. There we go. But there's not a lot of light. This side that looks lit up pretty well when I was trying to paint it at the end, it definitely was not. So we got, this side has two coats now. I did do where the transom is going to be painted, put a coat of primer on there. And this side has one coat of primer. That's all it's gonna get today. I don't have time to start another one because it's a half an hour just to have the primer ready after you mix it. It's gotta sit for a half an hour before you can use it. This is gonna have to do for now. I am pretty happy to get this far along. And it just means we'll have to put that second coat of primer on there later on. It's funny, it looks kind of silver here when I'm looking at it on the screen. But the one thing I can tell you, this boat is not going to be this gray color in the final. I almost forgot to show you guys. We're just above 50, maybe 52 here for the temperature in the boat shed at about 330 now, I think. And let's see what the hull temperature is. 54 here, 53. The highest I saw was 55. And that's the inside of this, or this hull temperature is warmer than the inside of the boat shed because of this heater that's going underneath. So I'm gonna leave that going for a little while and I'll come back out and turn that off. But it's up on cinder blocks, it's really safe. There's nothing flammable next to it. It's not that warm of a heater. As you can see, it rained quite a bit last night. Merry Christmas, everybody. And I'm wishing you a happy whatever you choose to celebrate. And I just came out here to grab the heater out of the boat shed and realized it's still almost 50 degrees out here and we need a second coat on this side. I'm gonna do it quick this morning before it gets cold. And then I'll feel a lot better about this whole thing. Although I think it's looking pretty good. So I'm gonna go mix the paint. It needs a half an hour to get all set to be used. I'm gonna do that right now. And then I'll do the video that I'm supposed to be starting in a few minutes. I did discover something yesterday. Now, I hate these brushes. I basically see them and despise them and think about throwing them away. 
but I did find a use for it yesterday. So when I did this side, first coat, to do the edges of the strakes, I used one of these. And it leaves a lot of hairs. As you go along, hairs fall out. It's a real pain in the neck. But I don't think this foam brush would have lasted on the rough edge of the plywood before it had a coat of primer on it. When I got over to this side, I decided I didn't want to deal with all the hairs from this. So I said, I've got a bunch of these around. Total Boat sends these to me, and I'm going to try it. And I used that to go here. Now, I had to use three of them, I think, to get this whole side done. But um, they do work really well if there's already a coat of paint or primer on here. So better than having the hairs from this thing in there. So they both have their uses, but... For me, I'd always rather have a bristle brush, but in this case, this did an okay job. And I'm gonna start with it over here and see how it works. And it's getting colder as the day goes on. So I've got this paint mixed up. It's been over a half an hour. It's time to get to it. We're Santa's little helpers. We make the wheels go round. Day and night, night and day, here in Christmas town. We're Santa's little helpers, and it's us you wanna know. If you want a date under the mistletoe We're Santa's little helpers When we make all the toys The trinkets for the girls And the trucks for the boys We're Santa's little helpers So we know every trick So as you can see it's still about 48 degrees So we're above the temperature necessary We're finished painting the second coat on the port side It'll be the port side when it's flipped over and we touched up a couple of spots where it was a little thin on the starboard side. Woo, does it stink like epoxy paint in here. We got a second coat on the transom, second coat on the fin keel way over there on the bench. Things are looking good. It's Christmas. If it weren't for COVID, I wouldn't be in here, but I am. I'm happy about that and sad about it at the same time. But I've got my second coat on, which means next week this can get flipped over. The, you can see that the heater is still on underneath there. So let's check and see what the temperature of the hull is. It is 47 right here. Let's see what it is by the heater. 50 degrees by the heater, 49, 50 up here. So we're above the range. This stuff cures very fast. I bet you if I come out here in an hour and a half, it'll all be good. Now I'm going in the house to make this video that I'm talking to you on right now. So I hope you're as excited as I am because I can't wait to see this thing flip back over.